We are here on the brand new season of MC Complex Factions, and I am beyond pumped. Now, we are currently over a day late into Star of the World, and I literally just logged on for the very first time the entire season, which is just not good looks. But if we go ahead and check it out, F who we have gone ahead and joined the faction that I've played with for like the past year, and our current name is Pineapple. Very creative. And if we do also go ahead and check F top alongside that, we are currently sitting at number two. Our main competition this season is definitely going to be Red Rum, and then Doodle Bob, I believe, is a little bit like Swisher and a couple Bandits members. And I really don't know who anybody else is. I don't know any of these other factions. I know Roaches is a brand new faction this season as well. I don't know. There's tons of competition this season. It's going to be a ton of fun. But now, before we get too far into the video, I am going to be doing another top rank giveaway in this video. So all you guys have to do, go ahead and enter, is like the video, subscribe to my channel, and comment your IGN down below. Because look at this group of nerds. None of them have the top rank, and they all have a negative aura. But now, let's go ahead and catch you guys up with everything that the faction has been doing since start of the world. All right. So first things first, obviously, we did go ahead and get our in overworld corner and this is where all of our spawners are if i go ahead and slash chunk info almost 900 creepers of 500 igs and 310 evokers as well and we got just like a bunch of random storage and if we actually go ahead and hop into rome i believe directly above us we have actually started on base work as well or i guess we haven't actually started on base work but we've gone ahead and set up like our base and boxes and stuff like that so let's go ahead and check it out obviously we're doing cactus which i don't even know how many cactus boxes are we doing let's see one two three so we're doing nine nine cactus boxes how big are they okay that looks like a little bit bigger than a three by two and we're doing nine of them that is actually an insane amount of cactus then directly above that we do have our xp spawners as well which i'm assuming someone's currently grinding of course they are what is going on over here bro nah you're actually caught lacking but here later on into the video i'm definitely gonna go ahead and start grinding out a set see if we can get some pvp and that is literally it okay wow but now to go ahead and kickstart our season what do you guys expect we have got 10 of these sacred crate keys to open which obviously it's gonna give us a bunch of really good seasonals for star of the world because reset ball is not unlocked yet if we check out slash grace reset ball is still basically another three days so if you get like sharpness six i know the sword is really good the sacred sword and then some seasonal gear as well to pvp with and also the faction can't complain because i'm gonna get a spawners as well so i'm not freeloading let's go ahead and see right off the bat we're getting a backpack dude that's actually so good for light zone i was actually gonna grind a little bit of light zone and this is perfect hopefully it's a decent tier and we got tier three okay that's fine but as you guys can see for every nearby mob you take three percent less damage so essentially like i'm invincible in light zone and then we also did go ahead and get some evoker spawners okay nice the second one we're getting a crossbow that'll actually probably be pretty good for grinding light zone as well and we also did go ahead and get some money pouches oh i forgot so i have a send to plus which means i can go ahead and turn on auto pouches so they automatically redeem that's actually so nice but i just went ahead and literally dropped like a new rank wait that tag actually looks really good but i'll go ahead and pop it up on the screen of what everything you get from ascendant plus it's super overpowered and of course i do have it which speaking of that means i get all my dailies oh and i can automatically redeem them dude that's so nice so we just made a ton of money and experience and i also do get free runes as well okay perfect that'll help with making our god set now back to the keys i really want the sword or the axe for pvp please sword the sword is so good okay the leggings are actually good as well hopefully they're a decent tier and tier two okay we're getting the boots i like this so far we haven't got any duplicates and tier two okay we're halfway through okay i literally jinxed myself another pair of boots take the xp for sure and tier two dude okay another crossbow bro 16 evokers will definitely take that tier one i'm not getting very lucky please just give me one of the weapons dude okay i don't need any more boots and they're tier three chest plate helmet sword that's all i want to <laughs> okay what are we doing here complex nah you're actually trolling i've got like five crossbows i'll take the spawners i'll take the money pouches but i genuinely don't need any more crossbows there we go okay dude perfect 36 iron golems and the sacred sword please be a good tier please be a good tier tier three i'll take it i can't complain that's better than the tier two i have sitting in my reset vault you know what matter of fact there you go buddy you got a crossbow you get one too okay but now let's actually go ahead and grab our tier four kids and head on over to f warp xp and see if we can steal the grinder for just a little bit and then we also do need to get in like on breaking three and stuff like that on our set sharpness five so i will go ahead and do all that off camera get to work in a little bit and bring you guys back in a second it's actually like 20 minutes later and i'm pretty sure i have nearly everything that i need for my set like obviously i don't have extra padding five and like refurbished 10 and everything maxed out on the set i don't have actually any refurbished at the moment but i think i do have a couple of my pv refurbished one refurbished two so i'll probably go ahead and try to get a couple of those off camera but other than that i think we are essentially ready for pvp we don't need anything for the leggings we got extra padding four the helmet is looking good the boots are looking good as well now i am a little bit tempted to go to dark zone because i don't really feel like going to light zone i don't really want to grind all the way to tier three because that is what 
then starts to get good. But Dark Zone is good the entire time. And they also made it so in the Dark Zone, you can go ahead and grind out switcher balls, candy corn, and stuff like that as well, which would definitely be beneficial. And of course, Prot 6. So I don't know. I'll see. I think right now the faction is primarily grinding Light Zone and Cactus as well. So if we do make like an outpost run or something, I'll go ahead and do that. So I'll bring you guys back then. Alrighty, boys. We're skipping a couple of days into the future. And as you can see, the base has gone under some changes. And now we have not actually done like the regions themselves. We went ahead and set up the trays. We've actually done our pillars and it looks like a small ocean. And I'm assuming we're going to do another ocean here as well. But we have actually gone ahead and done the filters behind our base up alongside the border. So we don't get left or right shot. And then this is our roof art. Okay. But now before we actually go ahead and gen in all of our filters, if I hop out of Rome, I've got a schematic loaded up. And that's actually because we're currently doing like slabs all the way down at the bottom. Because as you guys could expect, if we went ahead and just started jetting them in like normal, it'll go ahead and make massive cobble monsters all the way down at bedrock. And that is like the last thing that we want. Because as you guys know, if you've been playing the last couple of seasons, a lot of people have been doing like reverse raids, worm raids, and stuff like that. So to kind of go ahead and prevent that, we are adding obsidian all the way down at the bottom just so it does not cobble monster. Now, this is pretty tedious, I'm not gonna lie. But Downy is currently helping as well. I believe a lot is somewhere too. Yeah, maybe somewhere over there. Yeah, there he is. So we'll go ahead and do this now for a little bit. But if I check outpost, we have outpost in 23 minutes and apparently all day. I've been in class and getting pings on my phone that the enemies have been fighting. I look at our faction call be like 40 people deep. So I kind of want in on the action. So hopefully that's the very next clip. Okay, we're like two minutes away from a massive drop. Okay, we're like two minutes away from a massive drop in Warzone. And now the reset vault is opening like at the exact same time as this outpost. So hopefully they're busy doing that. But I know we've got a lot of people in call be like 24 in call right now. We're trying to log more people online, but apparently just Red Realm alone has like 17 they can log on. They have a Red Realm 2 as well, and I'm pretty sure they have an ally, maybe Roaches. And it's just Pineapple, Doodle Bob, and Dogs for our side. And uh, I'm still rocking my tier 4 kit that I literally just made this episode. So hopefully I don't get taxed because then we're back to square one. But we're starting to log the carries on like Peter Hayes. Speaking of which, this is literally a trap. I should probably go ahead and set a waypoint here. And good looks, boys. Okay, we are ready for some outpost PvP. Uh, stop oh, going for seasonals. Uh, Everyone drop. Crazy. We're going wars. We're in war zone. I dropped. You Who's know cap. We cap. We cap. Yeah. Low key, I was told this was supposed to be a competitive team fight. Are they just not showing up? We're actually so deep right now, though. But where are they, bro? Okay, well the outpost is literally over. We just freely capped it. Uh, I'm not exactly sure because we check out PVP top. They are comping it because they're second with 1,000 points. Our allies, dogs, like our PVP faction, 1.1k, and then we're in third. Our allies are fifth as well. But what I've been hearing is kind of like back and forth. They're winning team fights. We're winning team fights. They're winning the dark zone primarily. But now that seasonals are open, man, anything can change. Matter of fact, while this is open. I might as well go ahead and grab out the items that I'm going to be using this season as well. Now, this is the full god set right here. As you guys know, I like never drop in this set, maybe once or twice. And I really can't play this season a whole lot. So I kind of want to go ahead and do my support set strategy again. We got our cupid boots. And now I'm thinking of voltage leggings, even though they did go ahead and get nerfed. Our spooky shovel, of course. And you know what? Let's actually go ahead and do bunny chest plate as well. And then I need to go ahead and get myself a P6 helmet. I don't think I have anything that's really too good that'll help me in my support set. Yeah, let's go ahead and ruin all this stuff out because now oh god three hours that's gonna be the next war zone outpost so that'll be when everybody drops and then dark zone in 45 minutes hopefully we get that as well all right well i'm gonna go ahead and attempt to ruin out these three pieces while i can it's literally impossible to grind xp because everybody's trying to ruin out their seasonals right now but in my pv3 from yesterday's grinding session or the day before i've got a ton of leftover enchants it's like rocket boots i've already got dashers spring shoes snowshoes and then obviously i've got a couple refurbs as well to throw on there and then i think what i want to go ahead and actually do is is buy a p6 helmet nobody's actually currently selling them right now but i'll probably go ahead and buy it with gc just because it'll be like three dollars or something and that'll go ahead and finish off the set the support set for the season so let me go ahead and do this see if i can get some deals off camera and i'll bring you guys back when the set is finished oh nah bruh i just logged back online because i was pinged that there was a massive outpost apparently my faction has to cap this pineapple because we need these cell boost buffs and look at the scoreboard almost 80 people in warzone they're not comping bro there's no way. We've got dogs. I'm currently in our ally faction, Doodle Bob. And then we've got pineapple. We've got dogs too. And we've got people like just in no faction running around as well that are with us. It's actually wraps. They're gonna have to do some mass recruiting if they ever want to comp war zone if we're ever this deep. But hopefully, actually, when our faction goes ahead and cap it, hopefully I can join back into the main faction and go ahead and do this sell with them just to see how much money we're currently making, especially with candy corn that literally just released a couple hours ago. That'll be huge. Okay, the world has rebooted. We should have the outpost boss. If we check it out, slash outpost. 
10% shop bonus for essentially the next three hours. And now we have candy corn that'll go ahead and give us a massive sell boost. We're hoping for like 200%. And then look at all of these collection chests that we have to go ahead and sell. Now, if I actually F inspect, I'm pretty sure we sold this morning as well. We sold like 14 hours ago. Is that correct? Yeah, we sold not too long ago. So this is not even a full day of AFK. How much is actually in every single chest? Let's check it out in the middle. Let's see cactus over $5 million, $10 million. That's not even counting our IGs and evokers as well. Okay, let's go ahead and start spamming up this candy corn. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a 199% booster somewhere around there. Oh my God, there we go. Let's go ahead and start spamming. Sell, sell, sell. We started off with like $30,000 somewhere around there. And now we have two minutes to go ahead and actually sell everything. I'm pretty sure over here is actually evokers and IGs. 16 million at 13.5 at 20. Whoa! 284, bro! There's no way. That's actually insane. I'm at $500 million. And we're not even close to being done. I'm gonna have well over a billion dollars just from one sell. TT hasn't even enabled yet. All right, let's go ahead and continue selling. There's 800 million right there. And plus, I still have three more boxes outside of this to go ahead and sell. We still have our money booster. I'm probably gonna have to redo the candy corn here in a second because I don't want to lose a boost. That would be bad if I sold without a boost. But F Warp Grace 1, we're up over the 1 billion mark already. Oh my god, and the collection chest is full. Okay, sell. No, but bro. Oh, $263 million. F Warp Grace 2. Somebody just said, can I sell for leaderboard? Bad luck, buddy. Let's go ahead and see if we can get another 199% booster. I lucked out right away last time. 188. Come on. Like 197, 198, somewhere around there. We've got two chests to sell. That is literally it. Bro, we're getting cooked. 190%. Okay, go quickly through. 197. Okay, good enough. Sell there. F Warp Grace 3. This should be the last box. We just made another 180 million. We're up to 1.5 billion. And sell another 182 million. Let me check Bell Top. Are we Bell Top number? Oh, dude, we're Bell Top number one by a long shot. And 5FSI is also our faction member. Plus J Fraud, plus Philip. Dude, we are actually so rich. That, like, that is insane. And now it actually looks like we have gone ahead and started the genning process as well. So we'll probably go ahead and start genning the south side here. And I think the other side, we still have to finish these slabs and then water it as well. Because I, uh, I kind of started watering it and then it created cobble monsters all the way down to the bottom. And I just spent the past half an hour fixing it all so i will let somebody else go ahead and handle that now let me go ahead and make sure these slabs and the watering is done it should be and it's done above the u fusions as well okay i think we're actually good to go ahead and gen but yeah we do have u fusions on each side and then we also do have two 360s in this box right here 360s and then u fusions on each side of the base all the way down at like wide negative 18 and the u fusions is actually crazy they shoot out this tunnel they shoot sideways and then this right here is the barrel and then you can adjust it y and whatever z coordinate you need to go and hit they're actually crazy like crazy tech all the f top factions have them by now and the way we actually have it set it up is so nice as well we have the trays so you don't have to do the method you can literally just go ahead and place off of the glass it's actually so much nicer than you having to worry about slime blocks then breaking the slime blocks shout out to whoever did this so for the next part of this video i want to go ahead and start grinding out the light zone a little bit now if you guys remember from last season when the crates went ahead and released i pulled a tier 7 sacred backpack super overpowered for light zone while in light zone you take 7% less damage from mobs for every nearby mob. Like, I will essentially take no damage at all whatsoever. So let us go ahead and throw that on. We don't really need totems. Grab our sharpness 6. And then I think I probably just need like a full inventory of strength potions. But I have not grinded light zone literally at all this entire season. And now, my plan, I want to go ahead and try to get to tier 2 tonight, which is like, how many mobs is that? That's only 2,500. Okay, that's light. But then Friday, I do not have classes. So I'm hoping I can get to tier 3, which will be huge for the rest of the season for the last three weeks of the season i'll have access to tier three and maybe we can even get some pvp in there now i'm gonna go ahead and head on over start grinding just a tiny bit with uh my boy real chat here wait i didn't even think about this i completely forgot in the loot pool you can go ahead and get dark zone runes which i'm pretty sure is like a requirement for our faction at this point just so we can go ahead and be competitive in the dark zone outpost because the entire enemy faction has like dark zone sets like fully maxed out and the dark zone runes are actually overpowered you can stack like 20 percent extra damage 20 percent less damage extra drops stuff like that so hopefully through grinding, I'm going to try and go ahead and get tier two tonight before I hop off. But hopefully throughout the mobs I've killed, I go ahead and get some dark zone runes and possibly some P6 armor just for those PVP outposts. Yeah, as you guys can see, we're currently out of 50 out of 2,500. It's going to take a fat minute. I don't know, probably an hour or two, maybe, maybe a little longer. But nonetheless, we're getting it done. Okay, boys, if we look at my scoreboard, we're like two and a half hours in the future, I believe. I went ahead and stopped for a little bit and I just 
just emptied my backpack, but we've officially gotten over 2,500 kills, which means we can go ahead and upgrade ourselves to light zone tier two. And I'm pretty sure we have better access to better rewards. Let's go ahead and actually TP on over. PvP is not enabled here yet. Uh, well, I think the rewards are actually the exact same. So we can still get P6 armor, one in 10,000 chance. That is insane. And we can still get enchants and all that. So, but I am probably gonna go ahead and end the video here. I'm gonna go ahead and log off for the night, finish up editing this video so I can get it out to you guys for tomorrow. But nonetheless, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop the like button down below and subscribe if you have not already. We're at like 8,500 subscribers or something. But yeah, TNT is actually enabling in like two days. So hopefully that's the next video. I'll go ahead and see you guys here soon. Peace out.